everybody. How are you? I'm Danielle Dahl. And I'm Chris Villa. It is Friday. Friday, <laughs> June 29th. <laughs> the last weekend in June. Can you believe it? I know. You know, school's out, right? Our kids are in camp. I know my boys and yeah. your girls are in camp. So it seems like summer's just flying by. Because it's too much fun. Yes, for them. And if you're still <laughs> looking for a great summer getaway with the family, we've got the perfect place. It's beautiful, Belize. You got uh -huh. Truly one of the last unspoiled places on earth. And we're going to take you there just ahead. And not working out because you're just... You're so tired afterwards. I'm very tired. Afterwards. I'm always exhausted. Are you on Facebook? Do you have Facebook envy when you see cool pictures from a friend's vacation and you're like, oh, where is she? Where is he? Well, perhaps this summer you'll be the envy of all. Yes, it's that time. So get ready for family, fun family summer vacations. Now picture yourself on vacation to Belize. Belize, one of the last unspoiled places on earth. We're talking everything from mystical Maya temples to pristine rainforest to an incredible barrier reef. And joining us now to discuss this amazing tropical paradise is Laura Frompton from the Belize Tourism Board. Good morning. Good morning. I just want to get on a plane and go. Well, we want you there. <laughs> and I know you're born and raised, so you have lots to tell us about mm -hmm. Belize. So this is kind of like a fun-filled geography mm -hmm. lesson for all our viewers mm -hmm. this morning. So tell me exactly where Belize is located, because a lot of people don't know. Yeah, well, we're actually only two hours away from most U.S. gateways, which makes it perfect for a quick trip to Belize. Um, we are actually right below Mexico and beside Guatemala in Central America. Don't let our location fool you. We actually are an old British colony, and so we are one of the only, we are actually the only English-speaking country in Central America. And I got to tell you, I went years ago with my family. We were in Mexico because we have family in Guadalajara, and we made a pit stop in Belize, and I remember saying, oh my gosh, they speak English here. Yeah. And it was absolutely phenomenal. I haven't been back, and I think I'm going to go. You need to come back. I need we to go need back. You back there. I need a break. <laughs> I need to go with my hubby. All right, so let's, so much to cover. Let's start with, let's say, the landscape. Tell me about what makes Belize so unique. Well, we like to refer to ourselves as Mother Nature's best kept secret. This is true. It is. It it's is like a, a gem. It is. It's one of our little secrets in Central America. Um, we have the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere. It's 185 miles north to south. Wow. It actually covers the entire span of our country. That I did so not it's, see. So it's great protection for our whole country. And it gives the most spectacular dive and snorkeling sites, we think, in the world. Um, it's something for everyone. We have um, dive sites that are great for just the beginners, the snorkelers, all the way to the most advanced divers. And divers really love to go to some place, which I, I didn't get to see. I'm telling you, there's so much I need to go back to. The famous Great Blue Hole. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. I was just too young to go to this. Right. Well, it's really accessible. It's about 50 miles southeast of Belize City, and it's also accessible from any of the keys. It's actually about 1,000 feet in diameter, oh four, over 400 feet deep. You can actually see it from outer space. It's that big. Wow. And most divers, the experienced divers, can go down to over 130 feet to dive, you know. And you see the most spectacular thing, though, is the marine life. Oh. All the, the midnight parrotfish, the angelfish. Um, there's barracudas. There's groupers. There's stingrays. It's just fantastic marine life. And our viewers yeah. are looking at this video which kind of just shows it all. It's just amazing how clear the water is and it's just something that you just see. It's absolutely spectacular. So let's say I'm not into the diving, I'm not into the snorkeling, I got little girls, what else could I do? Well, that's what makes Belize so perfect. Um, like I said, we are the best of both worlds with Caribbean and Central America. We have beautiful lush rainforests. There's so many inland adventures that you can do in addition to all the marine activities. You can do horseback riding. You can, you can hike through the rainforest. You can do, go bird watching early in the morning. You can go into our caves and on inner tubes and go we call it cave tubing, exploring really? our caves. And of course, one of our best features, um, apart from all the marine life, is the great Mayan ancient temples. Oh, you can go on great Mayan, uh, you can go on guided tours and, and learn all about our great Mayan history of Belize. Okay, I want you to stay right there because we're going to talk, talk more. Mm -hmm. I'm getting really excited because I have a feeling I know where I'm going to go this summer. But don't go anywhere because we are going to talk about the mystical Maya world and it's amazing. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. You're looking at some of the recent events in Belize honoring the year of the Maya. Good morning, everybody. Before the break, we were discussing Belize, one of the last unspoiled places on Earth. With me, of course, again, is Laura Frompton, who is with the Belize Tourism Board. Belize is home to the longest barrier reef in this hemisphere, but the country also has a rich culture and history. And now, also joining me this morning is Dr. Jaime Awi, Director of the Institute of Archaeology in Belize. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Thanks for sticking around, sweetheart. No I got to tell you, I'm really gearing up for my summer vacation. So you guys are going to give me a tour, right? Certainly. I hope so. <laughs> 2012, I know, is the year of the Maya, Doctor. Talk to me about this special year and the heritage behind it. Well, you know, I usually like to say that in North America, when we think about civilizations, the first thing that comes to mind is, let's go to Greece, let's go to Rome. And many of us don't realize that just a few miles south of us is this amazing civilization, that of the Maya. I mean, we're talking about some people that uh, started using a calendar uh, based on 365 days before the birth of Christ, uh, a, a culture that built some of the most amazing architecture and also had the use of writing. I mean, they were literate people. Doctor, I know it's estimated, and this, I was fascinated when I read this, thousands of Maya Belize sites there, but not all of them have been found. And I, as a tourist, can actually visit some of these sites. That's, for me, a go-to. Yes, and in, uh, in Belize, we have now uh, developed and excavated at least a dozen great sites for people to come and visit. And we're talking about sites with pyramids that are over 150 feet tall, some of the still tallest buildings in the country. Oh my gosh, so and exciting. palaces and ball courts and, you know, just in incredible sites. Also, lots of caves, hundreds of caves that, you know, are miles long and rooms that you could fit a football field in. Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Boy, and the girls would love that, I got to tell yeah. you. Now, is it true that visitors can mingle with the families there? Certainly. In fact, I have two young kids, one four and one two, and I take them all over the sites, uh, into the jungle. In fact, uh, they've been to some caves as well. I know you have children too, and yeah. they have enjoyed this. And you know, sometimes you need to explain to your kids, you know, why you see the families uh, still washing their clothes in the, in the river, and you see them still. I'm sorry, what? In their, yeah. They're washing their clothes washing in their the river? clothes in the river, still in their very traditional Mayan um, clothing. They have their Mayan little arts and craft that they're oh. right there selling it. They're they're very happy to explain to you the whole history of how of how the arts and craft came about and the technique that they use. Uh, this year, 2012, you know, there's all kinds of hype out there about this being the end of the world. Um, in Belize, we're celebrating this as the year of the Maya, and we're having events all year long. And we want to invite you to come and celebrate it with us. Thank you, Doctor. I swear I am there, and you're going to take me around. Thank you very much, both of you. And to find out more about Belize, its incredible activities, rich history, and, of course, the Maya culture, which is so fascinating, visit TravelBelize.org. That's TravelBelize.org. You'll love it.